for me, the, the funniest and most interesting positive outcomes uh, from this experience is that the, the students um, in the one-on-one -on -one class in their final paper will write things like, gosh, I didn't realize that what we're learning in the textbook is what happens out in the, in the world at large. I think the peer learning really helps them understand that, that there is a connection. And having the, the advanced students support that is really powerful in that regard because it enables those students to connect with their, their mentors, uh, their volunteer professionals. And another piece that comes out that I think is a real positive outcome is um, the amount of self-efficacy that develops with these students. Uh, by the end of the course, they're very comfortable in speaking to people who are at high levels, uh, people who are professionals. Uh, it's really noticeable when you, if you could watch the class when we bring in guest speakers. Um, towards the beginning of the class, the students are very hesitant. They're very cautious about uh, volunteering to ask a question. By the end of the term, they're very open. They're, they're much more confident in themselves. And to be quite frank, questions are very sophisticated. And, and to a person, every guest speaker who's come, who's come away from the class has been very much impressed with that. Um, the third thing is, is the outcome is, is that there's a sense of community that develops in the discussion sessions that comes out of the, the work of the 450 class. Um, and it's a community that's not just about being friends, it's a community that's focused on learning and learning about leadership. the sense of community uh, that developed because it was 20 students. So we would start with some kind of like a clip or an icebreaker and so we would try to do something that would connect them and get them to know each other as a community but also have um, get them connected to us too and just in sharing I guess kind of building a foundation of trust every week by doing these activities and then having small group discussions um, is what kind of made the dialogue powerful at times. Initially students are fairly neutral about the value of peer learning and learning, learning from their, their more senior students. Um, I, I don't think there's anything specific that says that they are enthusiastic about it or on the other hand uh, resistant towards it. Uh, for some students I believe they, they initially are a little wary that, oh my gosh, this is just another student and it's not an instructor, so maybe the student won't, won't know what's happening and so on and so forth. I think that you learn a lot from people that aren't in that, you know, you don't look at them as necessarily in that professor standpoint. And although Dr. Garcia does make it really, himself really approachable and things like that, learning from your peers, you just get a whole wider span of information and just, um, it just broadens your horizons. For the first session, I sat in and, and essentially uh, um, gave, gave credibility to the extent I, I can do that. I gave credibility to the 450 student as, as the person in charge. Um, and we jointly uh, conducted some icebreaker exercises and we, we uh, worked together uh, and, and modeled uh, the fact that uh, we can all learn from one, other, one another in that setting. I felt that just getting to know each other and breaking that ice with each other was a really, really effective way to build that cohesion and get everyone moving towards the same goal. When everyone respects and cares for each other and wants each other to succeed because they know each other and they care for each other, I find that that's a lot easier and you can do that through icebreakers or just getting, just getting to know each other in general and genuinely caring about each other. They're very anxious about not offending someone and that gets in the way of providing feedback and as we know you, without feedback you can't learn and we had some, of the, some exercises in class including um, uh, a quiz. The students uh, answer the quizzes individually in the discussion session and then they break up into a group of f five and in that small group they answer the quiz again as a group quiz and the group score is the score that actually gets recorded for them. It was kind of a way of doing 
some peer pressure and developing, I think, some agency and self-responsibility towards the reading and towards doing the work in class. So it kind of made everybody accountable by the way he did that quiz. And, you know, they'd be so excited if they did really well. And if they didn't do so well, you could see that within the group sometimes there was a little bit of ribbing, not in a bad way, but I think it did cause students to want to step up and do the work in the large class because they didn't know um, exactly who they'd be grouped with. We would have them count off in numbers. So that was really great. The discussion session leaders debriefed the group quiz as a group dynamics and leadership activity. So it was more than just a quiz on paper and knowing the concepts from the textbook. Uh, the students at first really struggled with how do they deal with the feedback that came from that discussion about their ability to, to be committed to working for the group, for the benefit of the group, their ability to provide information and what their communication structure was and so on and so forth. Um, I think by the end of the term, people were far more comfortable in both giving and receiving feedback and providing feedback in a way that was behaviorally based and not person based such that the performance of the group would be enhanced. I feel that as the weeks went on, I noticed more how much I was learning through others. After I experienced that peer learning and I, after I experienced learning from all these other people and learning from my professionals and my mentors, I realized that that is a, a way better approach to it, in my opinion, that it's a lot easier to learn um, through not only text and not only lecture, but actual people who have been there, and people who have experienced it, and your peers who can bring examples to the table, and uh, yeah, it just it filled in the, all the all the empty spaces for me.